Hello, today I'm going to be checking out the Thermotec Dr. Par 3, which is a universal ATX power supply tester. It is currently on sale and in the UK it will set you back just under £40. So if you do need to troubleshoot a system, this is an inexpensive way of either ruling in or ruling out your power supply as the source of the problems. And with this tester, you're going to be able to test for low voltage, high voltage, no voltage or power good alarm system problems. So you can see our Intel standards here in the left hand side of this table and over to the right hand side you've got what the power supply tester can actually measure. So it is able to measure above and below the Intel standards. So the tester is compatible with the latest ATX 3.1 standard. It is able to detect the Sense 0 and Sense 1 sideband signals from your PCIe 12 plus 4 pin connector and it is able to give you a real time output voltage display from each of the reels in your power supply. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. So taking a closer look at our tester, we've got our screen here and our power on button. And there's labels at the top and at the bottom showing what each of the connectors at the top and the bottom are for. So in the bottom you're going to plug in your 24 pin connector. So take a look at the top of the power supply tester. In red you're going to be able to plug in either a 6 or 8 pin PCIe cable. Um, we've got our Molex connector at the top and the middle. At the bottom the middle is a SATA connector. And here we've got an EPS connector and you can either plug in an 8 pin or a 4 pin connector. And if you've got a modern power supply, you're going to be pleased to see that over on the left hand side of our tester is where you're going to be able to plug in your 12 plus 4 pin cable. So I've gone ahead and got our tester connected up to a brand new Thermaltake 1200 watt power supply. And I'm just going to flip the on switch in the back of the power supply. So as we do this, we're going to get the Thermaltake logo appearing. So we've got two different testing modes. There's a manual mode where you can check each of the connectors in turn yourself and you're going to have to press the power button once to activate it and then press it once to move through each of the different connectors. There's an automatic mode you can get by holding this in for five seconds and then it will test each of the connectors in turn. So I'm going to show you manual mode first of all. So if we press the button, the first thing it's going to show us is our 24 pin connector. So we've got our voltage reading for each of our reels and our power good reading here. So all these are satisfactory. And that's why the colour on the screen is staying the same. If it goes to red and alarms, it's telling us that we have a failure. And move on to our CPU. So you can see here we're getting 12.1, uh, 12 volts, which is completely fine. We press it again, it's going to move us on to our PCIe connector. And again, we're pretty much up to 12 volts as well here. And because I've got the 12 volt high power connector plugged in, we're getting our 600 watt reading here. Again, if I press it, it's going to move on to our SATA reading, and we've got again each of the reels and the voltage reading for them. And this is just what the power supply does. If you take too long, it just seems to switch itself off, so we'll, we'll get us back to where we were. And we press it again, that's our Molex reading. And then if we press it again, it's going to turn our power supply off. You can hear it click in the background and has finished our testing. So our power supply has passed this test. Now importantly, only the cables that we have plugged in and the connectors on the cables that we have plugged in have passed. So for example, you can see here, I've got another PCIe connector. This hasn't been tested. Likewise, I've only plugged in one of our 8-pin EPS connectors. So there's another 8-pin EPS cable and there's another port on our power supply, which I haven't tested. So to fully test this power supply, I would have to retest all the connectors and all the cables before I could say the power supply was okay. So I'm now going to show you the automated mode, but what I'm going to do is unplug our 12 volt high power connector. And this time we're just going to get the reading from our 8 pin connector up here. And again, just to show you that you can just plug in a 6 pin cable. So I'm going to unplug the 2 pin cable from the PCIe. And in terms of our EPS cables, I'm going to unplug one of our cables. So we've got a four pin connector plugged in and we've just got a six pin PCIe cable plugged in. And we'll do the automatic test this time. So to do that, I'm going to hold the button in. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically work its way through each of the connectors. So checking the 24 pin connector onto our CPU connector. 
it's going to go on then to our PCIe cable and we're not getting our reading down here because we haven't plugged in our 12 volt type power cable onto SATA onto Molex and then I click in the background as the power supply goes off it's tested them all and because the screen hasn't gone red they've all passed what I want to do is show you what happens if you do have a problem with your power supply so I'm going to turn the button off on the back and I'm going to rerun that test in automatic mode so we'll hold the button in so you can see our 24 pin connector has failed it's showing up red failure on all the rails and the power good signal And what it does if it picks up a failure, it doesn't continue to cycle through all the different connectors. It just turns itself off at that stage. So we'll go into manual mode. So our 24 pin connection has failed. So is our CPU connection. We see got a failed on the 12 volt rail. PCIe connection has failed. Our SATA connectors failed. And so has the Molex and that's our power supply turned off. So really impressed with just how easy this to use and as somebody who builds a lot of PCs and has had a number of power supplies failing me over the years, this is gonna be really useful to have. What I previously did was simply swap out the power supply in a system that was, I was having problems with and if that fixed the problem, I simply blamed the power supply and didn't use it again and used another one. But I'm in a special position. I have a shelf full of power supplies that I can do this with. I imagine the average PC builder isn't going to simply be able to swap out their power supply. And you've now, for less than £40, a way to actually check out your power supply and work out is it the reason you're having problems with your system. So really impressed with this. If you want to find out more about it, I'll put a link to it in the description. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.